Do you miss anybody, anyone right now? Um, that question could get really deep. <laughs> what is up my mini queenies never mind this this is from my contacts that i just put on but welcome to vlogtober day seven i'm sorry that i seem like a little not excited as i normally am but i feel very sick so i just wanted to go over a few things i have like a really bad headache i I feel like at night, I have a lot of mucus, I have a lot of nose problems. I feel like the mucus went down to my throat, so my throat's been really dry, which is horrible because I have a performance on Tuesday, I was supposed to be practicing all day today, and I've been having, okay, <clears throat> so this is before the vlogs. I had been getting allergic reactions all over my legs and parts of my arms to the point where my whole body would swell up, swell up wherever the bites were. So, well, okay, so wherever the allergic reaction was, that's where my leg would swell up or my arm. It was like right here twice. This is my 15th bug bite right here. You can't really see it right now because I've been icing it and nothing seems to help. I put Benadryl cream, I put another cream, I put a different cream. I have three or four different creams, none of them work. Um, I have like a candle that like uh, warns off mosquitoes still nothing I I take medication that makes me drowsy and that hasn't been working and so it's just like last night I had been feeling like the whole my throat hurt not hurting but like dry and mucus in my throat and I my whole hand from here to here was tingling numb I couldn't like it hurt just to do that I was like just doing that it hurt I went to the restroom in the middle of the night I couldn't even turn off the light like I had to like use this hand obviously I just laid back in bed I iced it and it was just it was just horrible and I've been going through this I was going through this for two weeks and then on Friday I got this bite and I didn't say anything on the vlogs because it looked like this it looks very disgusting and I didn't want to show you guys or tell you guys about it you know but this is I'm this is my life vlogs you guys are part of my life so I feel like I should tell you guys what's going on today so the doctors will be coming over to my house my insurance has like this thing where they can just come to my house instead of me driving to the doctors so they're going to be coming to my house they're going to be hopefully prescribing me a better medication that will help me because I'm allergic to some type of bug. We don't know what bug it is. It's either a spider or mosquito. I'm leaning towards more spider, but you know, I'm allergic to it now and I'm gonna go through this my whole life and I'm tired of feeling so much pain. It ruins my day. Yesterday at Disneyland, I was in so much pain in my, my whole arm and I couldn't, I didn't say anything in the vlog. And so I just pray that today the doctors will give me something that will help with my allergic reaction. And I just feel so weak. I don't know if it's because of the medication making me drowsy or is it because I'm actually weak. But I'm going to be making myself my vegan protein shake. And I'll show you guys what um, vegan protein shake that I do use. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm sorry for being like not always exciting but you know these are my live vlogs and right now I'm trying to upload yesterday's Disneyland video it's a long video it's like almost 30 minutes but I felt like honestly if I was watching I would want to see everything of like DCA and Disneyland Halloween version like I would want to see it all you know what I mean so I, I made it long and I made it hopefully exciting so check that out if you guys haven't watched already and my outfit of the day is kind of like this like dress it's a black dress my cousin Bella got it for me for my birthday last year and it's I love it it's like such a gothic look I feel like I'm Wednesday or something 
from um, the Adams family. I just feel so in the October spirit. So I'm gonna make myself something to eat, um, and then I'm just gonna be in bed resting and icing my arms. So yeah. So this is the protein shake that I use. It's plant-based. It has organic fiber, protein, no carbs, and it's creamy chocolate fudge, gluten-free, non-GMO, soy-free, vegan. It's so bomb. I definitely recommend it. I got it at Sprouts, but I think you can get it at um, Costco, too. It says two scoops, but I usually only use one, just because I feel like two feels like too much, if that makes any sense. All right, so this is what it looks like. Just because I feel like I need to get as much protein as I can get, I'm going to have a banana with some peanut butter. I usually just like get a scoop, put it in here, and then like put it on the banana as I go. So yeah, I feel like I should be feeling a little better, like, um, I guess you could say drowsiness wise, so hopefully, because protein, 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 hopefully it works. So I'm just resting in bed watching some old Shane videos while I am uploading a YouTube video. My head still hurts, by the way, but hopefully it will feel better. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I just really want to know how daily vloggers do it. Like. If they're sick or if they feel really bad, how do they continue to vlog? Like, that's my for real question. Like I said earlier, haven't been feeling good. My arm hurts so bad. Hurts to do this. And the doctor hasn't came yet. I don't think my mom set the appointment because she does it on her phone. I'll call her after this portion of the video. But like in Vlogmas, if I lost the footage or if I wasn't doing any doing anything that day I did a story time or a TMI um, tag so I figured I could do the TMI tag again but I think it's different questions and I could do a story time like a Halloween story time another vlog if I so happen to need content so let's get into this TMI tag what is your biggest turn off in a person I think this was in the last vlog too I mean the last I think this was in last Vlogmas too. And my biggest turn off is like when they don't like oldies or if they're not compassionate about animal rights. Like if they don't like oldies or Disneyland, I'm just like, bye. Not even like I won't I won't continue on in the relationship. If I see that they're they don't care for animals like I do, because I care for animals a lot, that I just know it's just not gonna work out because it's just those are very important things to me. So it's like no. <laughs> so, definitely oldies, Disneyland animals. What is your biggest turn on in a person? My biggest turn on in a person is when they like oldies, honestly. When they know oldies by like their heart, they listen to it, not just when I'm there and stuff. Like, that's my biggest turn on. I'm like, oh my god, look at you. Like, that's biggest turn on for me. What is the best compliment you have ever received? I think my best compliment would be either about my voice or about my YouTube channel because those are two things that I work very hard on. Do you hate anybody right now? I definitely do not like some people but I don't have hatred towards anybody. I don't have the energy or I don't even care enough to hate somebody so much, but I do like not care for some people, you know, like just, I don't really care for you, but I don't like hate you, you know what I mean? So I guess not. Do you have any hiding piercings? If yes, where? I have no piercings besides my ears, but that's obviously not hiding. Do you have any tattoos? If yes, what do they mean? I have no tattoos and nor do I want tattoos. Do you miss anybody, anyone right now? Um, that question could get really deep. I miss a lot of things. I mean, I miss my boyfriend. I know I seen him yesterday, but I, I do miss him. I guess the person or soul that I miss the most 
is my dog, Darla. She was very important to me. I know Anthony's never met her because she passed away when I was like a senior. Oh, and I'm, I just miss her so much. And I remember we seen this movie and it was like a dog was in it and it just like reminded me of Darla and I started crying nonstop. He's never even met Darla. I've never really talked about Darla to him, but that just truly showed me how much I still haven't gotten over her death. And she had a tumor, if you're wondering how she died, and we had to put her to sleep because she was just in too much pain and it was selfish for us to keep her alive. All right, next question. Do you smoke? No. Do you, to your knowledge, have you ever been cheated on? To my knowledge, no. But I think I have, I think, but I don't know. Like, I think one of my exes did, was like flirting and texting with a girl. I think. And it's not an ex that you guys know, so yeah, don't even worry about it. Have you ever been in a physical fight? <laughs> no, no I haven't. Have you ever been in a relationship? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been in love? I am right now, so yes. Have you ever been loved by someone you didn't love back? Yes. And this is the hardest thing ever because I feel like a lot of people, a lot of guys tend to fall in love with me and I don't love them back. I love them as a friend but not like that. So yes, that's definitely happened to me and that's always difficult because I never want to hurt somebody's feelings, you know? Have you ever loved someone that didn't love you back? Yes, and that was also equally as painful, so that, that's very true. Have you ever been betrayed by someone you care about? Yes, um, multiple times, so happens to everybody. Have you ever catfished anyone? No, but I've been catfished. Have you ever cried over a lover? Uh, heck yeah, I, yeah. Have you ever kissed a non-family member on the lips? Have you ever kissed a non-family member? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I was like trying to read that carefully. I'm like, wait, I don't wanna. <laughs> Have you ever kissed for more than two hours consecutively? No, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've kissed someone for two hours straight. That's kind of weird. Have you ever led a person on? I would say no, but people will say that I have. It's just because um, sometimes guys will take my niceness for I like you, which is not true. I just like you as a friend. Have you ever lied to get out of trouble? Um, yeah, of course. I think everybody has done that. Have you ever been heartbroken? Definitely. And it could be anything. I've been heartbroken over friendships ending. I've been heartbroken over relationships the ending. I've been heartbroken over losing a loved one, like Darla. Rest in peace, Darla. And to have a visual on Darla, she's a German Shepherd, or she was one. What do you weigh? Okay, so this is very personal, but I weigh more than I used to weigh. <laughs> like a lot more, but yeah. So I weigh 120 pounds. I used to weigh 110 two years ago, so I gained a whole 10 pounds, but now that I think about it, like my legs are really thick and my butt's big, so... I think it makes up for the extra 10 pounds, you know? Plus, like my personal trainer, he's like, you're a woman, not a little kid anymore. And that's true, so don't feel bad if you get older and you do gain weight. As long as you love yourself and you love your body, then numbers shouldn't matter. How tall are you? I am 4'10 to 4'11. Every time I go to the doctors, it's always one or the other, so. I usually just say 4'10 or 4'11, whatever I'm feeling that day. If I feel tall, I'll say 4, 4'11, <laughs> but I never make it a 5. <laughs> Alright. Um, if you could bring back a person from the dead, who would you bring back? I'd bring back my grandma Maria. She passed away of breast cancer, and not only do I miss her a lot, but I know my mom misses her a lot, and I know my baby brother's life would be so different if he had my mom's mom, his grandma in his life. So yeah, I would definitely want her back. If you could choose one Disney prince to marry, who would you choose? Hmm, good question. And honestly, okay, you guys know 
Pocahontas is my favorite princess, but I wouldn't want to marry John Smith, honestly. Like, let's keep it 100. Probably Prince Eric. He's very handsome. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hurt my elbow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. And please pray for me that I feel better because tomorrow, like I said last week, on day one of Vlogtober, Mondays are the longest day of the week. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna just end today's vlog because I feel like I really, really, really need to just rest today because I need to get through the whole week. Uh, but luckily my headache kind of went away. Maybe it's because I was talking, not just laying down, I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>